Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am actually back from our little trip, but today's video is another haul. I know it annoys some people when I do too many hauls. I am sorry about it. I will not be doing much styling on here um, for the next few weeks at least. I know you guys wanted to see some more styling videos, but because Reels has launched, I'm doing a lot of styling over on Reels. So if you're interested in styling content for me, definitely check out my Instagram where you can find all of my Reels, which contains loads of styling tips and my fave ways to style things for the autumn transition weather at the moment. I'll be doing autumn, I'll be doing layering, I'll be doing all sorts of stuff like that, as well as mini hauls. So my fave three new pieces from certain brands and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that sort of content, definitely check out my reels because I have a feeling, a sneaky feeling, that you might like them. Okay, so today we've got a River Island haul. Just a disclaimer, I am a River Island brand ambassador. So I have been sent all of these pieces as PR samples to share with you guys and to style for you. It does mean that I'm affiliated with the brand. I just had to get, let you guys know that before I start. I do do paid campaigns with them, but I love all of the pieces that I get sent. I do choose the pieces that I get sent. So they are curated by me, for me, and I still wanna share them with you guys. So just wanted to put that out there as a disclaimer. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's get into the haul. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna share some boots with you guys. As soon as I saw these on the River Island website, I had to have them. Oh my God. Can can, can we just? Look how big they are. I am absolutely obsessed with these boots. I love these bits at the front as well. They look so designer. It's absolutely ridiculous. They look like the Prada boots. I absolutely love them. They've got a cleated sole and they fit like an absolute dream. I love this um, super long elastic bit. I hope you guys can see that. Um, I love it. They are so nice and soft. They go with everything. I'll be styling these so much on reels. It's ridiculous. And over an Instagram. I'll add a photo here of me wearing them in an Instagram post so you guys can see what I'm styling them with. But I am obsessed. I love, love, love these boots. They are going to be my staple for all of autumn winter, I believe. They're going to look so nice with jeans, skirt and tights, like a lot of different things. And just look at them, they are so nice. They're a little bit spenny, but so worth the money. They feel really good quality and hard wearing. They look gorgeous too, and the sole is really thick. I always get worried about boots with thin soles wearing, and I just don't think you'd have that problem with these boots. I did size up a bit. I'm a 4.5, so sometimes I can go for a four, sometimes I can go for a five. I did get a five in boots because I do like to wear chunky socks with boots. With any boot like this, my top tip is to put some chunky, chunky socks on because they will rub. You do have to get them used to your feet and like Doc Martens and stuff like that, you do need to wear them in. Would definitely suggest getting, if you're in between sizes, the size up and also putting on some chunky socks to break them in with. Next up is another pair of boots. Now I didn't actually own any patent boots like shiny boots so when i saw these on the website i thought i would pick these ones up i love that it's got like a zip detail down the back this zip doesn't actually work like it's not functional but it just is like a good nice detail and then it has like a stitch detail all down the side here they're super shiny and then they're kind of like combat boots the way they do up they actually do have a zip on the inside that does work so don't worry you won't be doing up laces one thing that i just I love lace up boots, but I don't like having to lace them up. Go figure. Um, and these ones have little zips down the side, which I love. The sole is also like not too thick. So if you're not into the chunky sole, like I just showed you, this is a nice alternative because the sole itself isn't very thick, but it's still got that kind of cleated Doc Martens feel about them. I just think that they're really, really nice. I love the gold detailing and I needed a pair of like shiny patent boots just to add a little edge to an outfit i actually styled these boots with the jeans i'm wearing which are from my monkey denim video which i'll link up here if you want to have a look at that um i styled them with these jeans this top a blazer and these boots in a reel and yeah i absolutely love the way they look i think that they are so cute and they're just so shiny next up we have bags now river island have come through with the bags it's ridiculous i mean look Look at, look, look at the colour palette guys. They are so nice. I, I don't even know what to say. They are so nice. We'll start off with this brown bag because 
kind of like matches my outfit the most I feel and it is just such a stunning little baguette bag it's like satin I've left the filling in so you guys can see what it would look like filled but I'll show you here it's just got some paper inside just to fill it out so you guys can see what it will look like when you have when you have all your stuff in it but i just thought it was such a cute little bag for drinks cocktails i'm a big fan of little bags anyway even though i do have i don't know where it is oh it's over there i do have the 11 pro max um as my phone and it never fits in any of these bags i think that it would actually fit in this one because it's actually quite thick like it's quite a chunky um baguette bag so i really like that it's a lovely satin texture and it has the little river island logo there and i think that it just looks really really cute it adds a nice little edge to an outfit and yeah it just adds a nice little edge to any outfit i love the kind of 90s vibe it has as well i think it does come in different colors if it does i will link them down below as well as this one um but yeah i just loved the color of this how cute is that Next up I picked up this bag which is also another kind of baguette bag but it's got a, I guess it's like cross hatched, I guess, yeah, do you know what I mean? The bags like this came out um, this time last year and everyone was going mad for it like the woven effect bags and I love that they've taken this and put it in a baguette bag because I'm obsessed with baguette bags. Um, I also love the chain as well, I think it's so nice that it goes from like a thick chain to like a thinner chain, I think that's really cute. You could wear it as a clutch. Um, obviously not with this outfit, probably with something a little bit more dressy, but you can also wear it on your shoulder, which I think looks a little bit more casual, um, and I think it kind of works with this outfit, kind of like this, um, but yeah, it's really, really cute, it's a lovely, like, off-white cream colour, it does up with, like, little, um, magnetic clips like that, which I like as well, and the inside is, like, patent, hope you guys can see that. Um, and it has quite a lot of space inside. I don't think I'd be able to fit my phone in here because I think my phone's slightly too big, but um, I'm, I'm used to it by now and I am just a sucker for baguette bags. So yeah, I really, really like this one. I think this will look so nice with a tan blazer and jeans combo. That's gonna look really cute. So yeah, that's that bag. And last but not least, I have this one, which is a big houndstooth bag. This is actually so much bigger than I thought it would be on the website. Like it's a proper big, big, big bag and i do really like it it has a little handle so you can like hold it obviously like down but like with the handle which i love which is this thick gold handle and then there's this one which you can double up and use as like a slightly longer handle like this if you're more into that you can like put it on your arm the crook of your arms and then you can actually just like just use this black bit and it goes to like a bigger strap so you can use it as like a shoulder strap which it's very very cute i actually like it like this the most again i think this would look so nice with the cream blazer and just maybe an all white outfit and then this i think would look really nice or all cream outfit i also think it would look nice with just a little black dress for autumn i think that's a cute you know look because it's so oversized it's the biggest statement so i wouldn't wear anything too crazy with this i actually think that this outfit also works really nicely actually but I really, really love the whole look of the bag. It looks very vintage. It's a lovely houndstooth and it's kind of knitted. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like knitted and it's got like a texture to it, which is really, really cute. I love the little logo on there as well. It looks very vintage. That's it from the side. And then from the back, it's just kind of plain like that. And then it does up on the inside with two magnetic clips like that and it's got loads of room inside it is a very very big bag it's definitely a bag that i would throw on my shoulder for going for meetings in london or to go, even going to a um coffee shop to work where i just bring my notebook and i'm making ideas and having you know um, a little brainstorm moment this is the type of thing i would pack holds all my stuff it would hold a water bottle notebook all that sort of stuff and my phone will obviously fit in this one as well but yeah I just thought I'd show you those three bags because out of everything I've got from River Island, I'm so, so, so impressed with the quality and the design of the bags. I always feel like River Island knock it out the park with their bag design. I don't know if they have like an independent bag designer that works with them or something, but all of their bags are always stunning. They're always gorgeous. So I always keep an eye on the River Island new in section for the bags because chef's kiss okay so the first clothing item i have to share with you guys is a blazer now as soon as i saw this online i fell in love with it i love the color and the feel of this blazer i also think the buttons are really cute they're like a tortoise shell and 
yeah, I've just rolled up the sleeves because I have tiny limbs and yeah, just to get it to fit me, but you don't have to roll up the sleeves. The sleeves are nice undone as they are if you have the arms to fit them. I absolutely love this blazer. By the time this goes up, there'll probably be a few photos on my Instagram and then probably a few reels that have probably gone up before this video. So if you like the look of this blazer and wanna see me style it with some stuff, definitely head over to my Instagram and check out my posts and my reels because there will be lots of styling advice for this blazer. I feel like this is going to be my like go-to blazer for the season i just love the color i do have a similar one from new look that was in my last new look haul that is definitely a lot more tan than this sorry guys my camera battery died because i'm an idiot but um what was i saying yeah um the other blazer i have is from new look it's definitely more of a tan color whereas this is definitely um it's not cream these are cream it's definitely like almost like a cappuccino color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I hope it's translating on camera. So this one is 50 pounds and I did size up to a size 12 for that oversized look and I'm really glad I did. It fits really nicely and the quality is really, really nice. I definitely think that it is worth the 50 pound price tag. I have already styled it with so much. I actually styled it with this outfit earlier for um, a reel and I really liked it. And I've also styled it with white jeans, I've styled it with normal jeans, I've styled it with um, as a blazer dress with a little skirt underneath with a belt on. There are so many ways to style this. I actually think that I'm going to do a reel that's how to style this exact blazer. So if you're interested in watching it, head on over to my Instagram because I think that it will probably go live before this video. So if you want to see me style this, head over on there. But in general, I think this is such a good wardrobe staple for the season and it's really good quality. I do also see myself wearing it into next year as well, trying to think ahead. But yeah, I really, really like this blazer and I see myself styling it loads. So that's a winner for me. Okay, so next up we have this cropped blazer. Now, when I saw this online, I was kind of thinking to myself, how am I going to style this? Because it is such an interesting blazer. It literally crops right at the waist, which I actually really, really like. I think it cuts at a really, really nice place. The fit of it is gorgeous. I love this bit in the middle that kind of crosses over like that. I really, really like it. Again, I did size up on this one because I did want an oversized fit. I could have gone for a size 10, but I just think that it looks a lot more um, cool and like on trend to size up and stuff like this. So I'm really glad that I did. Um, I actually went out and shot with this the other day and I started with the big chunky boots and my um, skirt that I wear all the time, the Zara one with the slit in. I started with that and I absolutely loved, loved, loved the way it looked. I think this is definitely something that's definitely a trend piece and I will definitely be keeping it in my wardrobe for a long period of time. I don't think I'll find another cropped blazer that fits the way this does. This fits like perfectly and I think this styled with that black skirt will be a go-to outfit for me for um, autumn and then into spring next year with no tights. Um, yeah, I feel like this and that skirt are going to be best friends in my wardrobe and it's definitely going to be a go-to outfit for me for like date nights, for nights out, cocktails, stuff like that. I think it's definitely going to be a go-to for me for like days I would just want to wear black, like black outfits and it does make me look taller when I do wear this and then it's like black trousers or a black skirt or something like that. So yeah, I really really like this one. I don't know how much it is so as always I'll put the price and everything on the screen but I really really like this one. I think the quality is gorgeous, the fit is gorgeous. Hopefully you'll see this a little bit better on the cutaway than me just holding it here because it just looks like a black blob but yeah, I, I trust me. Trust me. I love it. Next up we have some vinyl shorts. So I picked up these, the vinyl shorts, they've got like three little buttons up the front and then a zip up here, there, and they've also got like a roll detail and then some pleated detailing as well and little fake pockets on the bum area. If I kind of like shine it in the light you'll probably be able to see the details a little bit more. But yeah, I absolutely love them. Like long story short, I love them. I really really struggle with leather style shorts. Uh, because I have a small waist and a big bum and thighs, I often find that, that shorts like that come up really, really baggy on my waist, super tight on my thighs. But I didn't have any problems with these. Like, I think that's because the back is elasticated, as you can see there, and they have a lot of give to them. Like, they're not necessarily rigid. They're quite, like, they've got a lot of stretch to them. They've got a lot of give to them, and I think they were made quite generously. I did pick them up in a size 10, which is my normal size, and they fit really, really nicely. I was so surprised. This is definitely not something that I would usually grab for. Not that I don't like the, the, the look or the style, it's just that I'd be like, oh, on my body type, that's just not gonna fit the way it's supposed to. But as soon as I tried these on, I was like, actually, they look really nice on me. And that is rare that I ever find something like this that I actually 
think looks like really nice on me. So I'm really happy with these shorts. I think even these shorts paired with that cropped blazer and some boots would look really cute for like a drinks outfit for, for autumn. So yeah, that'll probably be how I'll be styling them. I think also with like a white shirt tucked in for an off-duty look also really cute so hopefully we have a few more bare leg days to style these with otherwise I will probably style them with tights I have no problem styling shorts with tights so yeah um, I think I'm gonna get some good use out of these and they'll keep my bum warm which is a plus last but not least I have a satin skirt now I really did want to get a kind of cream satin skirt and they only had this one available in the regular size they didn't have it in a petite size I kind of wish they come out with it in a petite size. For Ryland, if you're listening to this, we'd like to see some satin pieces coming out in petite, please, because this is a maxi on me. I'm gonna say it straight up. It's not a midi, it's not a maxi, it's like a maxi maxi, like it's to my feet maxi. It has a lovely little slit here, which helps, but it is very, very, very long on me. Like if I hold it up, it is like dangling on my feet. So it is definitely long. If you're tall, you're gonna love this. If you're me, it's a maxi, but, yeah, I love the, the overall feel of it. I think it's very good quality. It's not very see-through. If you wear nude underwear, you cannot see through it at all, which I love. The slit is so nice and big. Like, it's a big, generous slit as well. And the only thing that kind of got me a bit confused was, if I do this, and chuck that away, there's no, there's no zip or anything. Um, and it's just barely elastic. Like, it's, that's, that's as far as it goes. Um, so because of that it gets over my bum totally fine but it is quite baggy at the waist I will have to belt this probably with this belt actually I think that would actually look quite cute and um, I will have to belt this but that also means that I can take some height up if I kind of roll it and belt it so that's totally fine with me I kind of would have preferred it if it was a zip and was made like a bias cut so it was like cut for the body I think that would have been really nice but I think for the money the quality is gorgeous and if you're taller than me this will probably fit you better than me but I'm totally okay with wearing this as a maxi probably with the chunky boots and a cardigan I think that's gonna look really cute but yeah the quality itself is gorgeous I totally forgot to tell you guys I did pick this up in a size 10 and because it hasn't got a zip and the elastic isn't very strong it definitely goes over my bum that's totally fine but it is a little backing on the way so just be careful of that um if so just be wary of that if you are going to order this skirt. It also comes in some other gorgeous colours like blue. Like there's one that's like a cornflower powder blue. That is absolutely stunning. Like I said, if you're taller than me, you're going to absolutely love this skirt. This is going to fit like a dream. On me, I'm totally okay with wearing it as a maxi skirt. But my hunt for a kind of cream coloured mini satin skirt goes on. So I think this has taken place in my wardrobe as a cream maxi, but I am also looking for a cream midi, so I'm keeping an eye out for that. But this will satisfy my creamy satin needs for now. Okay guys, that is everything in my haul. Shocker, most of it was accessories, which I never really do. I never really haul that many accessories, just because I feel like I already have quite a lot of accessories and I try and use my, my shoes and my bags as much as I possibly can. Like I don't really buy or get that many um, shoes or bags even sent as PR just because I just feel like I can wear bags for um, a long 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 time or shoes for a long 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 time like for the whole season. There have been some beautiful things coming out for autumn winter and I am stocking up on autumn winter bits because um, a lot of my spring summer stuff was all pastels and stuff and obviously I'm moving towards like a warmer toned palette, a more neutral palette. And I think the bags that I showed you guys earlier are perfect for that. So my favorite items in the haul are the cleated big boots. They are amazing. I've had so many compliments on them already and I wear them all the time and they're super comfortable. So love those ones. And I also love pretty much all three of the bags. All three of the bags I would happily wear. I think they're all gorgeous. And I think they're really, really well designed. Like the, the styling on that and the design is on point. And I think that they've done such, such a good job with them. As always, let me know what your favourite piece in the haul was in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.